Welcome to Action Figure Wrestling. Red Alert, baby. I'm the mouth of the self, Jimmy Hart, with my broadcast partner. Paul Heyman. Well, we have a fun show for you tonight. Let's take it to the ring for general manager, for Red Alert general manager, Aaron the Fourth has something to say. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome a real American. Welcome the runner up in the last night's battle royal. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, the immortal, Hulk Hogan. Hulkster, last night, well, Sunday night, you and Shelton Benjamin went over the top rope. Many people believe that Shelton Benjamin hit the ground before you did. They started it all over. Some people saying that they should do like they did for Bret Hart and Luger in WWE. And that both of y'all have a match at Wrestlepalooza. Unfortunately, they restarted the match like they did with John Cena, like WWE did with John Cena and Batista. Of course, last night you heard what Sean Benjamin said about you, and you heard about the petition to get you a world title shot before Wrestlepalooza. Now, we'll let the fans know. Give us 100 likes on this video. Or 20 people will comment Hulk Hogan. And the Hulkster here at one of the four pay-per-views before Wrestlepalooza will get a shot at the Action Figure Wrestling World Championship. Well, Hulkster, what do you guys say to Shelton Benjamin well, let me tell you something, brother. Shelton Benjamin, brother. You can call me an old man or whatever you called me last night, brother. But if it wasn't for me, brother, merchandising and action figure wrestling, brother, and wrestling in general, brother, wouldn't be what it is today. So I'm going to challenge you for a match at war if I don't have a world title shot, brother. You and me one-on-one, -on -one, and we'll see who would have really should have won, brother. Thank you, Hulkster. Remember, 100 likes or 20 people coming, Hulkster, in the comments. And the Hulkster and one of the upcoming pay-per-views will get a world title shot. Now let's get on with tonight's show. The first match is scheduled for one fall and it is for the Asian Championship. Introducing first your referee, Earl Hebner. Introducing the challenger, the from Tehran, Iran, the Iron Sheik, and his opponent, your reigning Asian champion, Lance Archer. There's the Asian Championship. One. One, two. Lance Archer should have capitalized, but he did not. One, two, three, your winner. And new Asian Champion. The Iron Sheik. 
Iran, number one. Russia, number one. America, ha, pooey. The next match is scheduled for one fall. And it is for the Mexican Championship. <clears throat> Introducing first your referee, Brock Rhodes. Introducing the first challenger. Lance Archer. Introducing the second challenger, the foot soldier. And introducing your reigning Mexican champion. The Berserker. There's the Mexican Championship. One, two, three, the foot soldier has been eliminated. <clears throat> One. One, two. Neither men are capitalizing on openings they have here. The first one that does will win this match. One, two, three, your winner, and still Mexican champion, the Berserker. The next match is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the Canadian Championship. Introducing first your referee, Randy Owens. Introducing the challenger, Nate the Great. And his opponent, the reigning Canadian champion, Sushi Man. Here's the Canadian Championship. One. Nate the Great should have capitalized there, but he failed to do so.
again. One, two. One, two, three, your winner. And new Canadian champion, Nate the Great. Your next match is a schedule for one fall and is an elimination three-way match for the European title. Introducing first, your first challenger, Sushi Man. Introducing the second challenger, Batista. And their opponent, your reigning intercontinental champion, I mean European champion, Eddie Kingston. Don't you mean undefeated Eddie Kingston? That's right, undefeated. But he's got two people he's challenging, in the, who's challenging him in this match. So, his odds of walking out, still undefeated, is one in three. He did not capitalize. One. One, two, and what a spine buster by Batista. One, two, three, Sushi Man has been eliminated. One. One, two. One, two, three. Your winner. And still the undefeated European champion, Eddie Kingston. The next match is scheduled for one fall and is for the United States Championship. Introducing first the referee, Kane Owens. Introducing the challenger for the United States title, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. And his opponent, your reigning undefeated United States Champion, Chuck. Norris, I never thought we would see Chuck Norris in an action figure wrestling ring. And the fact that he ended the undefeated streak of Dolph Ziggler last night to become the new undefeated United States champion. 
If anyone was going to end someone's undefeated streak, it was going to be Chuck Norris. There's the United States Championship. And Chuck Norris brings some validity to the United States title. One. One, two. One, two, three, your winner. And still undefeated United States champion, Chuck Norris. The next match is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the North American title. Introducing first your referee, John Hardy. Introducing the challenger, Orange Cassidy. Orange Cassidy came up short in the Royal Rumble, but tonight, he has a chance of becoming North American champion. And his opponent from the planet Eternia, E Man. There's the North American title. <clears throat> Orange Cassidy trying to take E Man down. One, one, two, one, two, three, your winner, and still North American champion, He Man. The next match is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the International Championship. Introducing first your referee, Matt Cena. Introducing the challenger, one half of the Hardy Boys, Jeff Hardy, and his opponent, your reigning. International Champion Owen Hart It's good to see Owen Hart back here in action figure wrestling There's the international title What the heck did Jeff just do? One. One, two. 
One, two, three, your winner. And new international champion, Jeff Hardy. Now we're going to have a three-way for the Intercontinental title. The next match is scheduled for one fall. It is for the Action Figure Wrestling Intercontinental title. Introducing first your referee, Gerald Blue. Introducing the first challenger, Owen Hart. Introducing the second challenger, representing the planet of Eternia, Skeletor. What do you think about this flaming version of Skeletor? I don't know, I don't really like it. And their opponent, your reigning intercontinental champion, Dustin Rhodes. There's the Intercontinental title belt. One. One, two. One, two, three. Dustin Rhodes has been eliminated. So we're guaranteed a new Intercontinental Champion. One, one, two, one, two, three, your winner and new Intercontinental Champion, Owen Hart. It's pretty obvious who Dustin Rhodes is going to get his get as his tag team partner in this next match. Next match is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the Action Figure Wrestling Tag Team Titles. Introducing first your referee Brian Hefner. Introducing the first tag team Dustin and Cody Rhodes, the Rhodes Brothers. And their second, the second tag team in this match. Coming down the aisle, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. They call themselves the Good Brothers, but they're also representing the Bully Club. And their opponents, the reigning action of Harrison. Tag Team Champions. Booker T, Stevie Ray, Harlem Heat. It looks like Dustin's going to start it off with the Rhodes Brothers. It looks like Carl Anderson's going to start it off with the Good Brothers. And Booker T starting it off for Harlem Heat. There's the Action View Wrestling Tag Team titles. Now, Two of these three sets are actual brothers, and that's Harlem Heat and the Rhodes Brothers. Doc Gallows and Carl Anderson call each other brother. One. 
but they're no relation. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, Three, Carl Anderson has been eliminated. One. One, two. One, two, three. The Good Brothers have been eliminated. One. One, two. One, two, three. Booker T has been eliminated. One. One, two. There could be a mistake on the behalf. Follow me. One, two, three. Your winners and new action figure wrestling tag team champions Cody and Dustin Rhodes. The Rhodes brothers. The next match is scheduled for one fall, and it is now a fatal four-way match for the Action Figure Wrestling Championship. And this is your main event. Introducing your referee, Mr. T. Introducing the first challenger, Booker T. Introducing the second challenger, Stevie Ray. Introducing the second cha the third challenger, Scott, Big Papa Pump, Scott Steiner of the NWO. And their opponent in your reigning action figure wrestling tag team champion, Meat Man Chris. There's the Action Figure Wrestling Championship. Who's going to go after me, man, Chris, first? It looks like it's going to be Booker T. One. One, two. 
one, two. One, two, three, Stevie Ray has been eliminated. One. One, two. Chris should have capitalized there, but he did not. One, two, three, Booker T has been eliminated. So let's come down to Scott Steiner and meet man Chris. One. One, two. One, two, three, your winner. And new action figure wrestling champion, Big Papa Pump, Scott Steiner. Remember folks, if this video gets 100 likes or 20 people comment Hulk Hogan, in the comments, Hulk Hogan will get a title shot at an upcoming pay-per-view. Join us tomorrow for Action Figure Wrestling Blackout Live.